right guys thank you so much for signing up for the book uh, pre-sales release and this is your video about Tuina 10 easy techniques that you can do every day with your pets very simple very quick way of helping your pet feel better and also if you have a specific issue to work on that issue especially if you're having acupuncture done or other procedures done to that area then this is a way that you can participate in that um, treatment plan you do your work at home so your pets are going to feel so much better, they're going to heal quicker, and your acupuncturist or doctor is going to be amazed of how quick and how much progress your pet is doing uh, recovering. So let's go ahead and do our top 10 Twina techniques, uh, and Lilo is going to be your model today. So this technique is called Yi Chi Chan, and it's called the single thumb technique. And it's great for hips, uh, for deep spaces, deep areas. For example, your hip point. Let's say your dog has arthritis. So a good point to do uh, is using your thumb. Just put your thumb in there and using your rest of the hand as leverage and like a seesaw, just go like this and firm pressure and just side by side, side by side. Um, you could also just do the finger like this, but I like to I like to do it like this. It's kind of like an emotion that is deep and penetrating, and it's really, it really feels really good for them. So this other technique is one of my favorites for the senior pets because some of them are really um, tight in some of the muscles. They are arthritic. They're painful, and uh, sometimes the lower back is a little bit tight. So using the palm, the base of your palm right here of your hand, you're going to select your area, like say in the lumbar spine, and then using that you're going to do it staying in the same place, you're going to do some rotary motion, go in a circle using this, and then until you feel that that area is warm and nice and feels good and it feels like the muscles are releasing, then you move forward or backwards in that area. So. Rofa, rotary kneading, this is the technique and it's a great tuina technique for tight muscles, especially in the lumbar area. So this one is one of my favorites and I do this every time and probably a lot of people do it without knowing. It's called Mufa or Hello Fa, like I call it. Uh, basically it's just going around in the muscles of the face and doing this to the pet. It's kind of like a permission massage. If they enjoy Mufa, they usually enjoy everything else. So mild pressure in there and just go around in the facial muscles and you know, cheek and eyebrow area, uh, scalp area, and then just go very gentle massage, very gentle pressure in there, and they really love it in a, in a soothing motion. It's a, it's a soothing hello type of massage, and it's called Mufa. This is Shafa, or Safa, is a rubbing or friction technique, and it is very good one for um, trying to invigorate the chi to raise the energy and of course friction release heat and chi is energy is, is heat characterized by heat so for example a dog that has uh, arthritis or is old and is cold to the touch uh, that, that area feels cold that means that the energy is not flowing freely and what you can do is just using the whole palm do rotary motions but instead of the previous uh, technique and using just the palm and staying in one place I want you to do just like when you're trying to warm yourself up uh, in the winter cold winter day just in the same area and you can do rotary a little bit but it's more rubbing so it's a vigorous rubbing so until you feel heat in your palm then you can move the, to the uh, different area but that's a very good one. You could use it in any part of the body, really. Um, but it's great for the trunk and the legs and all those cold winter days. That's a great way to warm up your sweet friends. So Anfa 
is called it's a pressing technique. It's a twina pressing technique, and it's used to unblock the chi. So if you have pain, anfa is a great technique, and you can use uh, your whole body. You can use your elbow, depending on how big the dog is. For example, for this dog, I would use my thumbs, and I would probably do. Let's say she has some shoulder pain. So what I would do is I would just press, hold for 30 seconds, release. Press, hold for a couple of seconds, release. I could do motions with, you know, a, a little bit of motion, but pressing is what does it. Say, for example, I could do two points at the same time, pressing and releasing, pressing and releasing. And this will really help relieve pain in a specific area, like a shoulder pain or a uh, stifle or knee pain for a dog. This is one of my favorite techniques and it's because I use it a lot. In acupuncture we use the bladder meridian which is about, you know, it, it's uh, parallel to your spine. So on each side is uh, two parallel channels uh, on each side. So definitely four channels in there. And so those are full of uh, points, acupuncture points where the energy flows, the energy is uh, you know, uh, converges. So what we want to do to, to unblock that energy, to make it flow better, is to do NIFA. And so we wake up this area. I, I, I can do it in any part of the body, but I strongly recommend from the top of the shoulders to the beginning of the hips to do it on each side and daily, about 10 times each side. So you pick your roll uh, of skin, and then using your thumbs, you're going to advance, you're going to push the roll, and then using your other fingers, you're going to advance it. So you pull it, and then the same roll, you push it and keep moving it. So you could do it either way. When you're doing it this way, it's great for paralyzed animals. You pick your roll, and then you just, you know, move it. So. I kind of like I'm doing it the opposite way but basically you could do it this way or that way it doesn't matter just pull your your piece of uh, skin um, and then just push it and move it along and that really wakes up all the lymphatics or all the vessels in the skin and all the nerve sensory nerves in there and it really is a great way of helping our paralyzed animals or really arthritic pets so this next technique is called DOFA and it's a shaking technique and it's really to smooth the joints. It's really similar to the chiropractic uh, visits that I go to where they take your leg, they can get your leg supported and then just, you know, just shake it, just shake it. A tail is a good one too. When the animals are paralyzed, of course, poor Lilo doesn't have a has a really stubby tail, but um, that's, that would be a good place to do it. Uh, any of the legs really, um, you can just support it and then just shake it. And what are you doing with the shaking of it? You're smoothing the joints and you're really helping uh, the chi flow better. Uh, sometimes the, the legs are really stuck and the uh, release of, of that energy will make them feel so much better and move a lot better. But it's great for paralyzed animals. So for this one, Senfa is a vibrating massage and really you could do it with the hands but it, why do it when we have so many ways of doing it much better with any of those uh, hand massagers or in this case just a regular toothbrush uh, that is a spinning toothbrush and then you just, uh, <laughs> she doesn't like, well look at that, she's been interested in this but basically it's a great point to do it uh, to the dogs who love to know what in the world you're doing but they get used to the noise and basically you're using the vibration and you can do it along the spine, right on the spine, right next to the spine where the bladder meridian are or even better for paralyzed animals I often tell people to do the back pad this pad underneath there's a point called kidney one and it is the main point for your kidney meridian the beginning of it very powerful point for a paralyzed animal that's where the feeling will start coming back if you just put that in there for one minute 
believe me, you're going to speed that process of healing and that paralyzed animal, God willing, will walk again. So this next one technique everybody loves uh, and I think everybody knows about it because it's very common. It's called Pai Fa and it's a padding technique. So you have to make a little uh, concave uh, you know, area with your hand just, uh, just so. And then basically you're going to do both at the same time and you can just go like this, just gentle padding of the dog. And they usually love it right here you know they think you're petting them and you have to hear a little noise yeah that means you're doing it right when you hear the noise and the pie fi is really again is the concave area of your hand on the palm and just uh, trapping the, the air and the noise and using just a really nice you look at that technique and it should have some noise and they love it G Fa is one of my favorite techniques to have done on myself <laughs> and uh, is a great way of beating and sometimes my back hurts and so I really would like some G Fa uh, and, and basically G Fa you're using this edge of your hand or your palms and then you're going to in a in this motion you're just gonna pat again the animal and she loves it and you pat it and you just go like this and you can go along the area or along the spine but basically it's using the edge and uh, just a, a firm padding of the body and you can use both hands at the same time it's very quick it's not very hard you're not gonna hurt your animal it's basically just it is it's basically a very quick movement and so it just is a nice padding and it really releases those muscles that are so full of tension and so tight so it's a really one to have on ourselves and of course on our furry friends thank you so much for watching this video and for signing up to uh, get our book out bet um, that's your way of contributing to raise awareness and to raise funds for the Humane Society of Polk County Second Chance Fund and for our We Love Pets funds, which helps strays and animals in need. Lilo and I had fun. I hope that you gain some knowledge, you get brave, start practicing at home, and you and your pet will benefit from Tuina and traditional Chinese veterinary medicine.